Hey guys, welcome to Mad Backyard. Today we're going to be showing you how to start up a master built electric smoker. Now, a little word of warning if this is your very first time using a brand new master built electric smoker, you need to run it for about three hours at 275 degrees to burn off any chemicals and residues left over from the factory before you start cooking food on it. So, follow along with us till we get to the preheat section, run it at 275 degrees for three hours, then come back and follow along with us to learn how to smoke your food. First thing you want to do is get the inside of the smoker ready for the cook. So, let's open it up. You'll notice you've got four racks inside the smoker. Make sure they're cleaned and oiled up before you start cooking so that your food doesn't stick. You'll notice that I put an uh, aluminum foil pan here on the bottom shelf. While Masterbuilt gives you a water pan, I like to use a disposable one because it makes cleanup later a lot easier. So I go ahead and put this on the bottom shelf. Underneath your water pan, you've got your heating element. This is where the wood chips fall into and get heated up to create your smoke. Make sure this is in place before you start smoking. Lastly, on the bottom, you've got your drip pan. This is going to catch any other drippings that fall through that don't get caught by uh, your water pan up here. There's two little stands in the front. Make sure these are in the front so that it angles down towards the back, out towards the drain hole. This is your air intake on the back of the master built. Air is going to come through the bottom and out the top of the smoker. It also acts as a drain hole for any grease that collects along that bottom drip pan I just showed you. Make sure this grease catching tray is in place before you start smoking. If you're going to put water in your drip pan, make sure to fill it up before you start preheating the smoker. That way it doesn't cool the smoker down later on when you add it. Then you're going to close the door to your smoker, plug it in, and come up to your control panel. Push the power button to start, and you'll notice the green light comes on. The green light only means the master belt's plugged in and turned on. It's not heating yet because our red light hasn't come on. In order to get it to start heating, we need to first set the temperature and then the time. So first we'll press our temperature button. It starts at 100 degrees. You can go up one degree at a time until you get to your chosen temperature, or it's actually a little easier to go down and start at the top. We're going to set it at 275 degrees. You'll notice it's flashing right now, so it hasn't been set. We need to press the temperature button again to set it. Now we're going to set the time. Push the time button. First we're going to set our hours. We'll do four hours. Push the time button again. Now we're on minutes. We're going to keep it right at zero. Push the time button again. Now you'll notice the red lights come on. Because we've set our temperature and our time, now we're good to go. So you'll see it's set to four hours. It's going to alternate back and forth between what the true temperature is inside, 61 degrees at the moment, and four hour timer. You can always come back and change the timer if you need to add more time or change your temperature. Just make sure that red light's on to know that it's actually heating. Now, if this is your first time using your master build electric smoker, you want to let it run at 275 degrees for about three hours. What this is going to do is burn off any chemicals and residues and things left over from the factory before you start smoking food in it. Make sure to open your vent all the way to let the exhaust come through and let all those chemicals and residues come out. Once you've let it run for three hours, you can set it to whatever temperature you want and continue along with us and start cooking your food. Once the smokers come to temperature, it's time to add our wood chips. You're going to come over to your wood loading tray here. You're going to turn it counterclockwise to open it. Be careful because this metal part will be hot. You're going to take some wood chips. You can use any wood chips you like. I like these cherry wood chips from Cowboy Brand. If you're new to smoking, I would start with some apple or cherry wood chips just to get you started until you figure out what kind of woods you prefer. We're going to fill up the tray here. We're going to put the tray back in, push it all the way in, and then turn it all the way to the right so the chips fall into the smoking tray. Make sure your top vents open only about halfway. And it's going to take about five to ten minutes for smoke to start being produced. Once smoke starts coming out, you can add your food to the smoker. Now you'll notice I didn't soak the wood chips in any water before adding them to the loading tray. You will see advice sometimes online that says you need to soak your wood chips to get them to smoke. Obviously that's not the case. We're already getting smoke here after about four or five minutes. It's actually the lack of oxygen inside the cooking chamber that causes the smoke to happen. It's the same thing that happens in every type of smoker. Um, so don't bother soaking your wood chips before loading them into the master build. Once your smoke is up to temperature and you've got smoke being produced, you can go ahead and put your food in. Try to limit how much you're opening and closing the door as that will cause the temperature to fluctuate a bit. Your initial load of wood chips will create smoke for about 20 to 30 minutes. If this is your first time smoking, go easy on the amount of wood you add because you don't want to overdo it the very first time. Foods like chicken, turkey, fish, they don't need a lot of smoke to get a nice smoky flavor. If you're making something like a pork shoulder or beef brisket, you may want to reload the wood chips two or three times throughout the cook. 
Thanks for watching. You can find the step-by-step -step guide that accompanies this video at madbackyard.com, as well as a whole bunch of electric smoker recipes to get you started.